Welcome to Ask Davis Golf. Today I want to talk to you about the takeaway. There's so much written and talked about the takeaway, and there's so much sort of grey area that people sort of try different things, and things to talk about as one piece and two piece, and etc. So I'm going to really just put over my views and takeaway and what should happen, what leads, what moves first, and what what goes on to give a bit of clarity for hopefully my customers and also other customers that that I might get and other people who want to search for this and see see the results of this on online. So for me, in takeaway, a lot of takeaway comes from a good posture, really. If the shoulders are sitting forward and the arms are sat in, it's very difficult to get your arms and body working correctly from the start. Also, the other thing we see commonly with a lot of people in setup is the left hip will be lower than the right hip. And that makes it very difficult to get the body moving correctly without sway and without sort of interrupting how the body can turn as well. So the setup has a key part as well as the grip as well, obviously. But assuming we have a good setup, and I'll try and set up to it as best I can. What I'd want to see happen from there, basically, I'd want to see the arms lead the takeaway into the first move or primary move of the takeaway. And what we'll see here is the right arm's folding, the left arm's going with it. Well, I feel like there's very little turn here. I am turning a bit because I'm wide-chested, so it means my turn has to happen. But essentially, I want to see the arms work away and they're sort of connected and they cross my chest and across my arms. I don't want to see the hands move out. I don't want to see the hands move in. I want the hands to remain on this kind of plane they're on initially with the arms going across the body and as this starts to happen then the wrist will start to set or cock whichever word you want and this butt of the club will start to point down to where the ball to target line was. So the first move would be very much about the arms and body being connected the arms leading it and sort of dragging the body across. There'll be no conscious movement with the legs for me on knees. I want this to be very reactive. Now, this will be reactive depending on how flexible the player is and how wide the player is, obviously. Again, it depends on how wide the chest is, how much the body will turn. But essentially, we're trying to get the arms to move away first and then the body to follow. So we get a wind-up and we try and get then the arms and body to finish the backswing at the same time so there's no overrun. This is essentially why I want to see this move. One more thing to talk about would be the club face. For me, I like to see the club face pointing straight up. But I'd also accept it slightly down. A toe up for me works better because I tend to see more players tend to hit. Good players tend to hit more shots left. So I'd rather have them the face squarer rather than slightly closed. But for the guy who slices the ball, I don't mind it being slightly closed. So there's a little bit of leeway on the club face for me. But it's essential that the arms lead the swing and the body follows. And then the body and arms can finish at the same time. So there's no overrun and we can get better coordination and connection at the top of the backswing. Have a go at that and see how you get on.